good evening my dear j aspirants this is one of the probably one of the not i wouldn't say toughest but you know one of the most competitive j mains ever and the cutoffs are absolutely shocking and i'm going to give you shift wise analysis difficulty as well as you know what are the expected cutoffs even in a very much detailed manner for what what you should expect for 99 percentile even for 90 percentile and even for all the other categories what should be the cutoff so stay till the end so that you get every single piece of information in this particular video and please share this video even with your juniors so that they prepare better for the upcoming j 2026 and 2027 so if you are a 11th or a 10th moving 11th student please watch this video till the end because obviously by the time you will be writing the j exam the competition might get tougher you never know so let's begin and uh, i hope you have smashed the like button uh, because we take a lot of effort to make all these videos so at the back end you know we collect all the data we uh, manipulate we see what has to be done properly okay we see what is the existing trend what is the previous trend and it takes a lot of effort so please make sure that you smash that like button not for me but for the back end team who has collected all this particular data and made this in a very beautiful format see guys when you talk about marks versus percentile there are two things one is difficulty level where if the difficulty is more obviously the cutoff marks will reduce and generally it is seen if the number of candidates are more so then the cutoff will increase because if more students are writing there is a good chance that the competition will increase and if difficulty is higher cutoff will decrease now both these factors have happened this year so you know that is what makes it challenging because obviously the paper was difficult as compared to the covid era and the candidates are also more so what exactly will happen who will dominate let's have a look now if you look at the covid times like especially the year 2021 if you combine all the four sessions yes there are four sessions there were around nine and a half lakh students who wrote the examination in the year 2022 there were two sessions around the 9 lakh students wrote the examination yes the competition slightly reduced in the year 2023 it went to 11 lakhs plus in the year 2024 there were 14 lakh students who wrote the examination and this year well guess what it's going to be approximately 15.5 lakh that's the estimate the actual official numbers will come very soon there were around two and a half lakh more students who wrote the examination in april plus you know uh, many students prepare better so a lot of things are there so obviously one of the highest highest number of students who have written in the last couple of years as you can see so definitely the competition has gone up and please understand these are unique candidates that are i am talking about this is not this is not the you know just the total number of registrations because that is not going to give you a correct picture okay so obviously very good competition next year this might even go to 16 lakhs who knows by the year 2027 maybe 17 lakhs 18 lakhs i don't know sometimes it can drop down also there are many factors which can affect it if you talk about the difficulty levels in the covid era the maths obviously was always difficult but physics chemistry used to be on an average easy moderate easy moderate like that but in the last couple of years slowly the trend started to change and guess what in the year 2025 that is this year the physics was moderate to difficult there were really good questions in physics and the chemistry was easy to moderate it was no longer just easy at least when it is easy most of the questions are easy but there were some good questions also in uh, chemistry so which makes the paper difficulty you know more on the average above average side as compared to the last couple of years so obviously difficulty has increased competition has increased overall physics uh, you know uh, last years if you see the trends it used to be easy chemistry also easy maths I ha always has been difficult but there was one change in maths though maths this time was more predictably difficult I, I see last few years yes there were some very tricky questions definitely lengthy also but this time there were there were questions which you could predict and do it you could have expected those kind of models of questions okay now let's go to the shift wise difficulty in january 
द टफेस्ट शिफ्ट वर द ट्वेंटी एट्थ मॉर्निंग ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मॉर्निंग एंड द ट्वेंटी एट्थ इवनिंग दीज थ्री स्टूडेंट्स विल रिमेम्बर दर हॉर या दीज वर द टफेस्ट शिफ्ट बिकॉज नाइंटी नाइन परसेंटाइल वॉज एज लो एज वन फोर्टी एट वन फिफ्टी एट मार्क्स द इजीएस्ट द लकीस्ट पीपल डिपेंड्स अगेन वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल युअर लकी और अनलकी द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इवनिंग ट्वेंटी थर्ड इवनिंग एंड द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ इवनिंग शिफ्ट वर द इजीएस्ट बिकॉज फॉर नाइंटी नाइन परसेंटाइल you will have to score 200 marks 187 marks 186 marks so if your speed is not good and accuracy is not great and your question solving strike rate is not good then you will definitely get very low percentile here but here it's not about how many questions alone but it is also about whether you are able to solve those difficult challenging questions so this is how it was three shifts were difficult three shifts were easy the remaining four shifts were moderately paced okay so on an average for 99 percentile in january it was 176 so what has changed in april are you ready for it my dear students yep yeah j advanced classes will start subha yep hello everyone hi arish hi divya hi kilavasa hi dr hevan hi ganesh hi loki good good evening my dear students so quickly let me know which shift was yours in the chat box what was your shift in the chat box and maybe in the comments what was your what is your expected score based on the provisional key now based on the current analysis that we have done in physics you will need around 64 marks to get 99 percentile in chemistry will need 62 marks physics was slightly difficult uh, sometimes but also majority of the people end up doing well in physics if you are a je aspirant so in chemistry often the most neglected subject it's not by uh, it's not by bias but that is how it is usually what we have seen mathematics it is 39 40 marks around okay so if you talk about the most highest score to get 99 percentile that would be in the easy shifts it is around 87 marks yeah for 99 percentile for chemistry it is 76 and for mathematics it is 54 So if you look at the number of questions, see in physics sixteen questions, chemistry sixteen questions, maths ten questions, sixteen, sixteen, ten, thirty-two plus ten, forty-two questions. If you have solved properly, you will get ninety-nine percentile. Can you imagine that forty-two questions in one eighty minutes? You will get ninety-nine percentile in the difficult shifts. But in the easy shifts, it changes drastically. Twenty-two here, nineteen here, and fourteen over here, my dear students. Yes. as you can see 22 here 19 here and 14 over here so that's 36 and this is basically 55 so 55 questions you will have to solve in 180 minutes in a uh, in a easier shift so can you feel the difference guys the moment the shift becomes e very easy you have to solve more questions for the same percentile this is 55 questions that you will have to solve and the moment the shift becomes difficult you will have to solve lesser questions correctly for the same percentile got it so it was just 42 that gives you a good idea and specially 2026 students 2027 students watch this carefully it will help you strategize for the next entire year when you are writing your mock tests yeah okay but this is all for january okay this is all for january keep this in mind this is how it was in january now what happens in april let's have a look at it okay this was all by the way for january okay this is not for april okay don't get confused okay so let's come to april now so these were the previous years and their percentiles now january these were the percentile scores that were sorry these were the percentiles and these were the scores that were needed now what happened in april let's have a look this is scary guys look at it january it was 236 for 99.9 april it might be 246 yes 246 plus so on an average 244 you can take it anyways uh, 99 percentile will go to around 185 marks at least yeah 99 percentile will go to 185 marks at least that means if you are in the toppers zone extreme toppers then those extreme toppers have done far better that's what it means but 99 percentile is a good score definitely uh but that has not changed much around 185 190 marks if you go to 95 percentile or i would go to 97 first 
97 is usually the percentile required to get into NIT, the bare minimum percentile, 97 percentile. So that is going to 150 marks plus. So if you want a seat in NIT, all the decent NITs, decent branches at least. So that means around 150 marks on an average. And if you are going to 94, 95 percentile, it is going to 135 to 130 marks. 90 percentile is going to 105 marks. Imagine there was a time when 90 percentile was for 82 marks. Can you believe that? I know you guys are having those secret wishes. I wish I wrote the exam in 2023 and I just had to score 82 marks. And, uh, you know, for 99 percentile, it was just 173 or for 97 percentile, it was just 133. So one of those easy days, uh, less competition days. But now things are very different, guys. 90 percentile at 105 marks. That's what the expectation is. Now, okay, sir, what is the cutoff going to be? We'll come to that also. The next analysis, that's very important. Now, please keep these numbers in mind. Please keep these uh, numbers in mind. 99 percentile around 185, 94 percentile around 130. I know these numbers look very shocking, but this is what is expected because of the increased competition, my dear students. So, if you look at the deviations, this is very important, which gives you a proper judgment whether the analysis done is proper or not. If you see, in January 25, the toughest shift, the toughest shift had obviously lower cutoffs and the easiest shifts had higher cutoffs. Makes sense. And the highest shift had a cutoff of plus 24. The, uh, uh, the toughest shifts had a lower cutoff of minus 22 as compared to their average scores or their mean scores. So these are your deviations. Like if you take the average, okay, if it is 236, the easiest shifts uh, will have a plus 24 score on an average and the toughest shifts will have a deviation of negative 22, negative 23, negative 25 like that. So this is what it was in January. The same is expected if you see even in your April attempt. Now, this is the most important slide. This was your data till last year, till 2024. For general category, the cutoffs used to be 90 percentile, 87 percentile. Look at this year, guys. Such a cool year. 87 percentile, the cutoff was there. 88 percentile in 2022. 2023 went to 90. Last year, it went to 93 percentile for the general category. The EWS, OBC, NCL, SC and ST categories are also mentioned respectively. You can check it out. But what is it that is going to be there this year? This is what is shocking. It is expected that the percentiles in 2025 after combining both the shifts results will be on the north side of 94. Yes, 94 percentile, one of the highest cutoffs that you can expect in J mains. And for AWS category, around 85 percentile. For OBC NCL category, around 84 percentile. For SC and ST category, 65 and 50 percentile respectively. So 94 percentile, guys. If you are above 94 percentile, most likely you are through and you will be able to write the J advance exam. Yes, you will be qualifying the J, qualifying for the J advance exam. But if you are below 94, don't put your bets on J advance. I would suggest please start preparing for alternative examinations like VIT, Triple E, SRM, J, Comed K, KCT, MST, CT, WBJ, CUET, BITSAT. Or if you think, yes, I could have done better, please start preparing for the drop year already. Yeah, but keep this in mind. The competition may get higher next year. We do not know. It might even go till 94.5 or even 95 percentile by the next year. So keep these things in mind while you are preparing for the drop year. Okay. So these are the expected cutoffs, my dear students. I know they are very shocking, but that is how it is. I'm sorry to ruin your weekend. Um, if you thought that 90 percentile was the cutoff, no, it is not the cutoff. Okay. It's better to be mentally be prepared for what is going to come rather than getting shocked on the day of the result. So my dear students, as a teacher, as a mentor, my job is not to hide the truth. My job is to tell you, warn you in advance and make sure that you are not just mentally be prepared, but also prepared for the other entrance test.
there are a lot of other entrance tests which you can give please start preparing for that nothing is lost it's okay if you did not get nit or iit it's fine there is nothing wrong in it fine you tried hard you worked hard or you didn't work hard okay you have your regrets if you really feel that you can do it please take a drop and i will make a separate video of who should take a drop or not otherwise please start preparing for other entrance tests there is there are a lot of good colleges in fact if you want such videos to be done please let me know in the comment section below and if you are getting above 97 98 percentile better start preparing for j advance because obviously iit j advance exam is not very far and on the channel also there will be j advance sessions which will be conducted now one more important thing if you want to predict which college will i get well the link is there in the description box of this particular video just see that over here yes j rank college predictor tool where you enter your approach score your percentile either one of them enter your category and date of birth and select your quota that is also important because according to that your rank will be predicted so and as per your rank which colleges you might get that is also going to be predicted using this tool so make sure that you start exploring the options and start you know preparing for those applications accordingly now is the time now is the time where you should be using it before this i never showed you until the april attempt okay because before that there is no sense of this particular tool so better start looking out for these colleges and any college that you feel or any course that you feel is relevant to you please let me know in the comments so that i can make special videos exactly for that course college or whatever is required as a strategy for preparing those exams okay my dear students stress sir is with you don't worry we'll work it through and we'll get over this particular hardship in case your scores are low as well okay don't lose hope okay thank you so much please share this video with your friends as well and uh, if you like the hard work that we put in in making this video please do not forget to smash that like button okay because it took a lot of time to make this particular slides thank you so much have a great time bye bye take